It is increasingly interesting and one of the most controversial decisions in modern Indian defense history. Why was HAL excluded from the Rafale fighter jet program? The official answer seems straightforward, but the story behind it is far more complex and contentious. The government's official explanation was that Dassault was unwilling to take responsibility for aircraft manufactured by HAL, which led to the decision to shift production involvement toward the private sector, specifically the Reliance Group. However, this justification raises serious questions. HAL is not an inexperienced manufacturer. It has produced over 200 fighter aircraft, including Mirage 2000, and has built more than 2,000 aircraft such as the Jaguar and the Su-30 MKI. HAL was also Dassault's long-standing licensed production partner for the Mirage 2000, demonstrating a proven working relationship. Former HAL chairman publicly stated that HAL was never consulted before being removed from the Rafale program, which further undermines the rationale behind its exclusion. The decision becomes even more contentious when viewed through the lens of India's offset policy. Initially, the offset framework favored participation by public sector undertakings like HAL. However, after the Rafale deal, the policy was tweaked to allow foreign vendors to choose their own Indian offset partners. This change enabled Dassault to select Reliance Defense, a private firm with no prior aerospace manufacturing experience which was incorporated only days before the deal was announced. This shift fundamentally altered the industrial and strategic implications of the deal. By removing HAL from the program, India lost a crucial opportunity for deep technology transfer, strengthening of the domestic fighter, manufacturing ecosystem, and long-term self-reliance. Without HAL involvement, there was no meaningful transfer of aircraft design knowledge, source codes, or systems architecture. As a result, India remains permanently dependent on imports for upgrades, maintenance, and spares, contrary to the stated objectives of Make in India. Another major concern is the lack of access to source codes. The Rafale does not provide India with full control over mission systems or avionics software. This severely limits India's ability to integrate indigenously developed weapons and missiles without seeking repeated approvals from France. In contrast, platforms like the Su-30 MKI allow far greater flexibility due to access to source codes, enabling seamless integration of Indian weapon systems. With Rafale, every new integration becomes a bureaucratic and strategic hurdle. There are also uncertainties surrounding delivery timelines. While Rafale Marine deliveries are expected for naval requirements, the proposed acquisition of 114 additional fighters remains unclear, with no firm guarantees on timelines. This creates a capability gap at a time when the Indian Air Force urgently needs numbers, especially until indigenous platforms like Tejas MK-1A and future MK-2 variants become fully operational. The absence of a clear delivery framework adds to operational risk. From a financial perspective, Dassault Aviation Scale also invites scrutiny. The company's total assets are estimated at 35 to 39 billion US dollars, with equity of around 6 billion US dollars. Entering into such a large and strategically critical deal without deeper industrial integration in India raises long-term sustainability concerns, especially when India lacks autonomy over upgrades, weapons integration, and life cycle support. In sum, excluding HAL from the Rafale program has created a challenging scenario for India's defense ecosystem. The absence of technology transfer lack of source code access, 
Limited industrial capability building and continued dependence on foreign vendors may hinder India's ability to operate and evolve its fighter fleet efficiently in the coming decades. Instead of empowering domestic aerospace manufacturing, the deal risks locking India into long-term operational and strategic constraints. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Rafale fighter jet in the comments section. Jetline Marvel is excited to announce its first coloring book for kids age 10 and above. With brilliant designs, it sparks curiosity and creativity. While teaching young minds about airplanes, copies are now available for purchase on Amazon. Share your reviews and let us know what you think about the book.